I've told you a thousand times, don't keep the luggage so close to the stairs. It's dangerous. Mr. Tarkington? Yes? Good morning. Now, don't tell me the elevators are that, that way. way. Mr. Tarkington, have I... Oh, oh. This is a lobby, Charles, not a football field. I'm sorry, Mr. Tarkington, but I've got exciting news that can't wait. God's taking me to heaven today. No, I have booked a high school reunion here at the Nut House. The Regal lost it when their ballroom was damaged by fire last night. Really, Charles? Oh, Charles! You didn't set the fire, did you? Of course not. There's more good stuff. Most of the alumni are from out of town, meaning 300 guests will be staying under our roof. That's extraordinary, Charles. Go prepare the contracts before they change their mind. You got it. Good boy. Mr. Tuckington? I asked you not to do that. Yes, you did, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, Fire Inspector Johnson's here to see you, sir. Oh, hello, Eric. Hello, Tarkington. Thank you, Dennis. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that blaze at the Regal. Yeah, the chief's been giving me a lot of heat. That uh, fire in the ballroom embarrassed the whole department. Why? Ah, uh, well, we were we were there at the time having our fireman's ball. Oh, no, I could see where that didn't work out. Well, well. <laughs> but I understand that the Nut House is getting a lot of the Regal's biz, namely a big high school reunion. True. But uh, may I respectfully remind you that the Nut House has an impeccable safety record? Doesn't matter, Tarkington. I have to prove my worth to the chief. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to come down extra hard on you to hang on to my job. I don't understand you. The chief has been passing out pink slips. I'm afraid I'm the next one he's going to fire. What? Fire! <laughs> What you've done. You've gone and caused a panic. Oh, give me a break. I gotta prove to my boss that I'm not burned out. Yes, but it's unfair to penalize our hotel because you need to gather brownie points. Well, what would you do in my business? Well, as they say in the popular song, these boots are made for walking. Mr. Tarkington, yes. I need your opinion on the hors d'oeuvres for the class reunion. Should I order caviar or jello? The answer is obvious, Sally. There's always room for caviar. Make sure there's enough for 300 people. Yeah. 300 people? Where are you, uh, where are you gonna put them all? Right in there. I'm sorry, I can't let you hold an assembly of that size. It violates my new stricter occupancy laws. Occupancy? Occupancy? There. That ought to ensure the safety of my job. Chief's gonna be impressed. That's reprehensible. Look, we're hosting a reunion here, and there's not one thing you can do to stop it. I can shut down this hotel. All right, there's one thing. But there's not two things you can do. Oh, I'll just declare a few more fire hazards. Be on my way. You stop. There's not one hazardous thing in this hotel. <laughs> All aboard! 14th level, watch your step. Freddy, you've gone too far. Oh, sorry, here we go. No, down! Down, here we go, down! Down, Freddy. Watch your step. Oh, Freddy. Oh, my God. Thank you, Freddy. That was enough. I can't go. <laughs> What on earth made you hire that guy? Oh, pity. Oh. Well, I, 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 want, I want this entire hallway cleared immediately. For what reason? I don't know. I, I'll think of something. No smoking in my office! Office! I just want to snuff out his smelly, stingy cigar. Was I too rough? No, you were perfect. Miss Frick, I need your help. You are my leader, my man, my main squeeze. Yes. This fire inspector is making trouble for our hotel solely to try to save his own job. I want him back on his feet, but make sure he does not return to this hotel. Anything you ask, I do. Yes, I know. With you at my side, it's a wonder I don't rule the world. How refreshing it is to see our young, smiling faces. Here it is. We've just finished the reunion paperwork. And all we need is your signature on the bottom ah, line. Ah, good, Sally. 
Oh, oh, Mr. Tarkington, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's a pay it no mind, Sally. This reunion has me in such a happy frame of mind. Nothing could dampen my mood. I'm so proud of you, Charles. What a coup it is hosting this reunion. Some pretty prestigious alumni come from this class. You know who'll be in attendance? Bentley Bostwick. This is Roosevelt High, class of 49? Yep, the class that's first class. Mr. Tarkington, are you okay? You look so white. That's because I'm Caucasian. I need some fresh air. What? Good. Where am I? In my room. Your room? Calm yourself. I'm almost finished ironing your shorts. You saw me naked? Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I didn't see anything because there was nothing to see. You are a man of many shortcomings. You just give me my clothes. I'm going to find Tarkington and fix his wagon. No, no, no. Stop. Take your clothes. Now, Twinkle Flea, and get out of this hotel. I am banishing you once and for all days. If I ever see your face again. What <laughs> I do for love. Enter. Mr. Tarkington, I came by to see if you were feeling any better. What are you doing? They should explain everything. Well, what is it? A letter of resignation. Tim, what is this about? Simple. I uh, just feel I'm no longer capable of performing my duties. What are you talking about? This hotel would fall apart without you. Charles, this hotel is falling apart with me. Besides, I've just been in the hotel business too long. Everything I own is work-related. Look at this. I even have a hotel in a bottle. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's uh, personal. Don't go snooping no, through my personal. I wasn't snooping. It was Charles. out here. Roosevelt High School, 1949. What are you doing with this? Oh, I was just immersing myself in research for the upcoming reunion. You see? Commitment like that is why you were born to be a hotel manager. Wait a minute. This is your yearbook. Yes. We're hosting your class reunion? Yes, Charles. That's precisely why I am resigning. Well, I, I don't get it. Come here, Charles. See if I can explain. Charles, all my life, I've served other people, starting with my earliest school days. See, here's a picture of me working in the school cafeteria. Oh, here I am, water steward to the football team. And then there's the matter of Bentley Bostwick. Here's a picture of Bentley and me. I'm the one shining his shoes. Bentley came for money. Life was handed to him on a silver platter. Was there someone like that in your school, Charles? Yeah, me. Oh, of course. <laughs> it was a delight in telling me that I'd never amount to anything. But a hotel manager is a position of stature. Oh, not to him. He owns mansions, oil refineries, season tickets to the Lakers. Right next to Jack Nicholson. He also has Maureen Barnes. Isn't his wife named Maureen? She was my girl. She was only a, a freshman, but I asked her to go to the senior prom. She said, yes, we were all set to go. And Bentley stepped in. Oh, no. She stood you up? Left me standing there with a corsage in my hand. It was Heartbreak Hotel. I, I can't face those people again, Charles. Don't quit. Oh. Now, listen to me. This hotel needs you. I need you. Take a vacation. You can miss the whole reunion. Vacation? I've never taken a vacation. Oh, well, I did once. I stayed here at the hotel. The service was awful. Fly far away to some tropical island. Watch the Japanese buy it. A vacation might just be the solution. I just discovered this fire escape is totally unsafe. Nonsense! 
sense. The only way this could collapse would be if someone would loosen the bolt like this. a few points with my Reggie. <laughs> oh, this looks great. Betty, the floor looks wonderful. Charles! Where do, you, where do you want me to put the punch bowl? Right on the buffet table over by the deviled eggs. Thanks, Freddy. Deviled eggs. Well, my friends, I've come to say adieu. I'm going away on a long, long, long vacation. Mr. Tarkington, when are you coming back? Tomorrow. Late tomorrow. Mr. Tarkington is leaving because this is his class reunion, and he's embarrassed to face his old classmates as a hotel manager. How absurd. It's not what you are, but who you are that counts. Sally, were you a cliche major in college? Today, image is everything. Mr. Tarkington, if, if image is all you're concerned with, I mean, the image you want can be created. Image is just an illusion, anyway. For one night, you can live a fantasy. Just like in Cinderella. What an entertaining notion. I am Charles Nutt, co-owner of the Nut House. Color me bored. Sadly, this party peaked when I walked in. Ladies and gentlemen, Reginald J. Tarkington has arrived. Who? The water boy. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hey, look, it's Reggie. Reggie Tarkington. Remember him? This is unbelievable. No. Paul. Um, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Mr. Um, Tarkington. Uh, what? I'm sorry, but your broker can't wait. Oh, bother. Hello. <laughs> bye, bye. Sell, sell. Take over, take over. Make it hostile. <laughs> Mr. Tarkington, well. And as co-owner of the Nut House, may I extend to you every courtesy. Oh, thank you very much. It's a very nice place. That'll be all. <gasps> Ricky. Look who's there. Oh! You remember me? Well, of course. Mitzi. Yes. Oh, darling. Yes. Why, look at you. Why, you've grown. Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> oh, Mitzi. Tarkington? Bridgie, I'll lick your boots, Tarkington. What's happened to you? I got rich. Oh, Reggie, I almost didn't recognize you. You've changed. You haven't changed, Maureen. Still the loveliest girl in school. So, old chum, why is it I've never heard of you? You're not even listed in who's who. Well, I keep a very low profile. I'm listed in who's that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm fascinated by this incredible transformation. Would you think it forward of me if I ask you to dance? Not at all. Forward? Much? Mm -hmm. Reggie, you still remember prom night when I chose to go out with Bentley instead of you? Vaguely. I feel the need to say that I'm sorry. I was so young and foolish then. Oh, silly. It's not important now. The happiness is. I'm cutting in, girlie. And who might you be? Might be. I am the Duchess Maria Luisa Conchita Margarita de la Bon Freak. And you are dancing with my love, my all, my reason for living. You dated once. <laughs> Clear the place settings so we can make mad passionate love under table tops. You're overdoing it, Frick. They're supposed to envy me, not feel sorry for me. <laughs> uh. 
Hey! Yes. Oh. You seen that crazy frick character? Oh, sorry. I haven't seen anybody in the last few decades. <laughs> What's all that hubbub over there? What, bad over there? Yeah. Oh, just some big old high school reunion? Uh, General? Uh, or is that Admiral? High school reunion, huh? My chance to get even Tarkington. Attention, please. Oh, this is a very exciting moment because it's time to find out who you voted to be king of the class of 49's reunion. May I have the envelope, please? Oh, I have the envelope, please. <laughs> the winner is, oh, I'm a wreck. Oh, that's it. Well, well, this is a surprise. The winner is Reginald J. Talking to oh. 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 oh, I, I, I don't deserve this. Uh. Fire! Fire! Oh. All right, stand back, everybody. Please don't panic. Please, let it alone. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Fire extinguishers must be clearly accessible for anyone to find, not just hotel employees. I'm going to shut you down, Tarkington. What did you say? Employee? Sure. This guy's the manager here. You didn't know that? Oh, not until now. Did you hear that, everybody? Tarkington tried to pull one over on us. He was ashamed to admit that he's the manager of this third-class joint. He's a nobody. But I'm still me. So give me that crown. I'm the king of this reunion. Oh, why don't you just shut up? Nobody tells me to shut up. Well, I'm not a nobody, and I'm telling you to shut up. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got to say something to you. I, I guess I owe you an apology for misrepresenting myself. Yes. I am a hotel manager. Yes, I, I serve people for a living. But I consider it an honorable profession, contributing to, to people's lives and their well-being. It may not get me into the who's who, but it's given me pride and satisfaction and much happiness. And isn't that the ultimate success in life? Nice speech, Mr. Manager. It doesn't matter that you're happy, because I have all the power. Well, I have some power, too. Would you like to see some? I'm warning you. Don't you. Yeah, oh, yeah bring him right over here. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is my hotel, and I'm your host. My staff, without whom I'm nothing. And I are going to throw you the biggest party of your life. Whoopee! Oh, Maureen, it was wonderful spending the evening with you. Take good care of yourself. And you. Mm. Maureen, will you get out here and give me a hand? Oh, shut up. <laughs> hey, Tarkin. I bet you the Chief's gonna give me a promotion. Sorry, Buster. I talked with the Chief this morning. He's not very pleased with you. It's time to hang up your hose. Good work, Frick. Uh, Mr. Tarkington, aren't you going to rejoin the reunion? Well, of course. But first, I have to change into my official attire. This just isn't me. 